Coming off their first loss of the season to third-ranked Iowa, number 4 Ohio State returned home for a Friday night duel against undefeated Penn State. The Nittany Lions jumped out to an early 5-0 lead as Nick Suriano picked up a tech fall in front of an OSU record 15,338 fans. Ohio State's top-ranked 133-pounder Nathan Tomasello responded with a tech fall of his own to tie the match up. Then, in a match that OSU head coach Tom Ryan determined as a must-win for the Buckeyes, Penn State's Jimmy Gulliban grinded out a 5-3 decision. It was tied going into the third period at 3. The key match tonight for us was 141, and when we lost 41, uh, and that was probably 51-49. If you look at it, who was going to win, there, you know, one's a fifth-year senior, one's a freshman. It was, we knew it was going to be a close bout. We thought we'd win that. Everything began heading downhill for Ohio State. Penn State's Zane Rutherford picked up another tech ball. Then the Nittany Lions' Jason Nolf, the number one 157-pounder in the NCAA, picked up a quick pen to put his team up 19-5 heading into halftime. The route was on as Penn State swept the Nets three matches out of the half, picking up a decision, major decision, and a pen. You know, that's a team with a lot of tough people, uh, with a great tradition, and uh, they compete extremely hard. And when you have uh, mental breaks in the midst of a seven-minute match, you're going to struggle, and we had a few of those. The Buckeyes picked up some points in the final two matches as Colin Moore took a decision and gold medal heavyweight Kyle Snyder picked up an easy 19-9 major decision. But that, of course, was not enough to win as Penn State takes home a dominant 32-12 victory and heads back to State College remaining undefeated. The Buckeyes are back in action with a quick turnaround on Monday for a duel against Rutgers. For Lantern TV, I'm Colin Hossel.